Hi! Today I'm going to show you how to use the built-in test mode of the Roborock S50 series. So if you're wondering why your robot just behaves in a strange manner, so for example just it drove down the stairs or um, does not pass some some um, walls or does not um, find the docking station again, um, you can just use the um, built-in test mode to verify or to, to check if all the sensors, the built-in sensors are working properly. Um, okay, so how do you enter the test mode? Um, pretty simple, you just need to power on the, the robot, uh, just in the usual way, so it needs to be powered off uh, previously, of course, um, but you you just power it on as the usual way, but while powering on you press the, um, the home button five times in a row. I'll just do it once for you, so press, one, two, three, four, five, done. And I just kept the power um, button pressed all the time. So it needs a while until the robot says itself, welcome to the BIT mode. And it's pretty loud, be prepared. If you play the machine information, press the start button. And if you enter the test mode, press the home button. Okay, so if we want to hear the serial number and total clean time and all that stuff, uh, we have to press the um, home button, uh, the, the uh, power button. And if we enter the BIT mode, what's what this is what we are interested in actually uh, we just go with the uh, home button so i press the home Manual button mode LED. so um for each different test it tells you previously or before the test starts it's, it just says you okay what i'm go what I, what i'm going to test next so this is the leds um and this is the one and only stage you can see the leds as you may see around some in a corner somewhere um I don't know why, but if you enter the BIT mode, it's uh, the one and only way to test the LEDs. Um, so it's just toggling through all the LEDs. Um, the only one which is multicolor is um, the uh, power LED, um, and all the others are just single color. But if you don't see this, something is wrong. But I haven't seen that yet. Um, okay, next one. Fan. Pass. So you have heard the fan. So by pressing the um, uh, home button, you go to the next test. And by pressing the um, spot button, you go to the previous one. Okay, so it's like a circle, um, which is not closed in the beginning of the test. So the LEDs, as I said already, uh, are just for test ones. Um, but all the other things can just be circled around and you can go previously or uh, in, in the right direction or the left direction. Um, depends on what you want. Next one. Sweet. Okay, so yeah. I just saw the sweep and I heard it, so everything is fine. Um, I, I, yeah, just go for the brush. Okay, yeah. I heard that, but I just wanted to show you um, the sweep once more, just to to hear that everything's sweep. working. Pass. Yeah, the brush. Fan. Ah. Pass. Wrong one. Sweep. Pass. Brush. Pass. Okay, done. Next one. Dust box. Okay, this is an interactive one, so you see the um, main LEDs off, and as soon as I turn, as as I took out the um, uh, dust box, it will light on. So this is done um, using a magnet. Um, so we have a magnet in this dust box. It's over here. It's actually it's not in the dust box. It's in the filter, so you can remove it, um, and you see, oops. You see the um, LED or the, the magnet over here. Um, so if this is not working, as after you changed your filter, maybe you have a clone filter or something without the magnet. Um, to verify that, I have a pretty strong magnet. Yeah. So this just goes over the the magnet, and I can um, vice versa just go over the sensor in the um, in the housing, and then the LED will power off. Okay, pretty neat. No mechanical parts involved. Okay, next one. Bumper right. Okay, bumper. Same interactive test, so the main LED is off, and if I just press the bumper, it turns on. Okay, next one for the right. Bumper left. Same one here. Okay. Laser bumper. Yeah, laser bumper. So this one is also covered with a sensor. So there's a button somewhere. I think it's here mechanically. Um, and if I press the um, the top cover of the LDS, um, the robot is also able to detect that. Maybe because if you drive under 
um, chairs or something, um, you need to be able to discover whether you are possibly locked in or not. Okay, next one. Wall sensor. Okay, cool one. Um, the wall sensor is this one on the right side. Um, and to test that, <laughs> I struggled with that because by just covering it with the hands, it does most of the times not work. But I figured out to take a white paper and just pass. cover the sensor and just remove it slowly. Pass. It just says all the time pass or pass. did not pass. Pass. So this is how you should pass. hear the pass, pass all the time. Okay, next one. Drop left. Okay. So if I just lift the robot, it's the same. It's off, it's on, off, on, on the left side, right? Drop right. On the right side. Cliff left front. Okay, cliff sensors. Uh, you have four cliff sensors. Um, the front sensors and the rear sensors. Um, so as it says left front, I'll just cover the left front sensor. Oops. Where is it? Just go ahead. Okay, so here we see it. So it's on. If I just cover it, it goes off. Cliff right front. Right front. Cliff left rear. Works like a charm. Cliff right rear. So on the right rear, um, just it should be named because um, this brush sometimes does cover the sensor, okay? So if it does not work, maybe you just have to remove the brush um, in order to cover it properly. Or to release it properly because it's covered all the time. <laughs> okay, next one. We are left over current. So pass. 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 Okay, I just Clip go back. Right rear. Um so the overcurrent stuff is um that all the wheels or all the motors just have the overcurrent circuit. So um, the robot needs to detect whether they are blocked or not in order to not destroy them totally. Um, so the next upcoming motors is really just the overcurrent stuff. So in, I need to block them physically um, and then the robots will say, okay, I detected that it's an overcurrent state, so I need too much power to move it properly. Um, yeah, and it just tries again and again and again. So just go through this quickly. So the first one is the left uh, wheel. Wheel left over current pass. Pass. Works properly. Wheel right over pass. It tries to go pass. on the right side. Pass. Pass. Brush over current. Okay, brush over current. It's the same for the brush. I need to just block it. Pass. Pass. Okay. Pass. So your children are safe. <laughs> sweep over current. Just sweep. The same here. I just block it Pass. and it does Pass. try for a short time. Pass. You may see it. It Pass. tries to for a short Pass. time, but then it breaks Pass. and does pause. Pass. Okay. We are left. Pass. Okay. So this is just driving one second forth and back or something around that. We are right. Pass. Okay. Self test. Gyroscope. Pass. Gyroscope is just an internal sensor and it just detects, I think it's the, the um, position, the inertia of the uh, robot and it just, yeah, you cannot influence that actually. Maybe you have to shake it, but it does most of the time, I, it just says pass. Wireless. The same. Pass. It just tests if it can span out a wireless uh, network and then everything's done. Compass right. Okay, compass. The compass um, is for the magnetic uh, or the virtual wall, so the magnetic stripes on the floor to um, um, limit the freedom of this robot, so that it does not drive over the the um, magnetic stripe or something like that. So the mag magnetic sensors are located uh, next to the uh, front cliff sensors, and you can just again test it with a yes. magnet. <laughs> this is pretty strong, so I just yes. need to get. Uh, in the direction of the of the robot, and it pass. just says, "Okay, pass." Pass. Um, this is all the right side. Compass left. This is the left side. Pass. Same. Pass. Just go close. Maybe pass. if you have a, a, a screwdriver, maybe it's not pass. Um, strong enough, but uh, most of the time it will work. Pass. Okay. Next one. Laser. Okay. Um, the laser of this robot is broken, <laughs> so we have to wait quite a time. Um, to get it detected, but you can also see that the um, laser wheel is not turning. So, yeah, you see, it's fail. It's blocked. 
Um, so I already Fail. knew that this is not working properly because you need to, um, in general, if you start the Fail. DRT mode, the laser turns all the time. This one does not turn even once. Fail. Um, but it's not a big issue, so you just need to replace the Fail. motor in general, then it turns again, and then you have to check if the um, diode Fail. does work as well. But yeah, yeah, you can easily use the build and test mode to verify Fail. that everything is working properly as you replace the motor. Charging. Charging. Yeah, so for charging you need the uh, docking station, which is uh, properly plugged in properly and, and safely plugged into the wall. Um, one word for that. Um, so if the test says, okay, charging, yeah, passed, fine. Uh, it does not mean that um, you won't get the error 13. So if you have the error 13 and you are passing this uh, test, um, I don't know what exactly limits uh, or, or leads um, to the um, fuse replacement or what, what makes you sure that it's just a fuse, um, but this test just tests if the uh, electrical connections are properly. So it does not test um, whether the the um, battery uh, is okay or it does not test whether you have some long-term issues like the fuse. Um, so if I place this one on the on the station, so pass. what I wanted to say is if this said pass, uh, it does not mean that you don't need to replace a fuse, right? Uh, because I, I did this test almost every time uh, with every robot I received to repair and after repairing um, and the this test does not test the broken fuse stuff. So it, I think it really just checks if um, the voltage is arriving to the battery, if the battery is in a... what what's the, the state of the battery? Maybe it's checked, maybe it's not, I don't know. Um, but this is just as far as I see the, um, to be a an, an, um, connectivity test for the station to the robot. Okay, next one. Infrared front. Okay, infrared front. Um, with this slot, um, within the slot, there's an infrared um, sensor, and within this uh, station, somewhere here, I think you may see it. You may be able to see it, maybe not. Um, there is somewhere an, an infrared LED which is flashing all the time, um, and so the um, docking station says in an optical way, "Hey, here, here I am. Here I am." And the robot, if, as it searches for the docking station, it just uses the infrared uh, sensors. So if you place um, the robot with this uh, slot Pass. in front of the uh, um, docking station, it just Pass. says, okay, I detected the, the station. Pass. Pass. Okay, next one. Infrared right. Right is the same. We have uh, on the right side also this, uh, the same where the um, wall sensor is, is also the infrared on the right side. Um, and this, the, to test it is just the same. Pass, pass, just place it in front pass, of the docking station and pass, say should pass, say pass all the time. Okay, next one. Fan. Okay, I think we pass, are circled. Sweep. Oop. Pass. Fan. I'm back. Okay. Pass. So this is how it works. As I said, the LED state can be just checked once. All the other things you can just go uh, to the next test or the, to the pre previous test by pressing the buttons. Um, if you want to leave the test mode, just power it off whenever you want. So this is always... Uh, power it off. You can always um, exit the build and test mode. So I hope that this just helps somebody out to figure out what is the real cause of this uh, of his robot if it's not working as expected. Um, yeah, sometimes maybe it's enough to just clean the sensors like the optical ones, like the cliff sensors. Sometimes you may need to replace um, parts, like I need to replace the uh, LDS motor on this one. Um, yeah, but I think this test helps quite a lot. Um, even if you buy a new robot and the uh, seller just tell, told you everything is fine, just verify that everything is really working fine. Or if you are trying to sell this robot, um, please do your potential customer the uh, favor to just verify that everything is working properly uh, before you sell it. And then you can say, okay, it's BIT tested and everything is fine, and everybody knows um, what's uh, what this product and what this is the quality of this um, sold product. So, um, if you liked the video, if it helped you out, just leave a thumbs up or comment if you have any questions, um, and I think we'll see us soon. Bye.